Welcome back guys. So let's start this tutorial off by uh, finishing up with the keypad and the door. But really quick before I start this, I noticed in the previous video I actually forgot to do this little uh, detail here. So let's select this surface. And I want to create a sketch and I'm going to use a two-point rectangle and I will just add this little bit of detail. You know it's minuscule but it, it adds to it. So um, now that I have that I'm just going to reference this cut here so I'll select this surface and now it has um, acquired the same height ensure the operation is on cut hit OK now that that's done we can move forward to the keypad and we'll start this by selecting it and going to right click going down to create sketch and now let's start working on some of this detail here on the number of keys so we'll use a two point rectangle like always <laughs> Select the surface, um, get the general shape. And what I want to do really quick is um, go to the fillet tool. And if you don't see it above, go to modify, fillet. And I just want to, you know, round off these sharp corners. Don't want anyone to cut their fingers trying to enter their keys. So once we have this satisfied and we're satisfied with the results, we'll right click it OK. Now we need to pattern this across. I mean, you know, we could just duplicate this, but that would just take too long. We could be at the Control C, Control V, and, you know, that would just. Uh... So let's go to Create, drop down, select Pattern or um, Rectangular Pattern, and let's double click this line here so we can in... so we can select the entire um, profile. Now we'll drag this blue arrow to the right, matching this reference here, and let's change the quantity from three to four. And we'll drag this up arrow down. So once you're satisfied, right click, hit OK. Now we can shift select all of these profiles. And we're going to right click, press pull. But rather than entering uh, 1.5, we're going to do it by half of that. So we'll do something like uh, 0.5. Ensure the Operation is on join and let's hit OK. Now we can reselect this surface and right click create sketch. And we're going to use our two point rectangle from this top left corner to the bottom right. Right click hit OK. And we'll just select this profile and press pull this in by let's say negative 0.5. Ensure the operation is on cut and let's hit OK. Now, lastly, we'll get this little detail here. So, we'll select the surface again, create sketch, use the two point rectangle tool from this top left corner to the bottom right. And now we'll right click it OK and we'll just select this profile and press pull it by about, um, let's do negative 0.7 negative 0.7 ensure the operation is on cut hit OK and we could add this detail here on the inside but I think I'll actually go without that for this one so let's make our way to the door so we'll select our surface create sketch use our two point rectangle from the top left corner to the bottom right corner of this outer rectangular piece Now we'll right click it OK. Now let's select this surface, right click, press pull, and let's take it in by negative 1.8. Ensure the operation is on cut, and let's hit OK. Now we can select this inner surface, right click, and go to create sketch. And for this, we'll use the two point rectangle tool. We could use the two point rectangle tool or we could use the offset tool, it really doesn't matter. I think offset tool would be just fine to be a little bit quicker to select this border and we can just slide this in to somewhere around here. Let's right click, go to OK. And the reason I did is because it created, it created a nice little closed out area so we could just use the line tool from here on out. So let's use the line tool here. Or remember we can hit the create drop down, select line and the hotkey is L. So we could just go through and do this, but what I want to do is 
go to the center line here. And remember the center line, you'll get the icon that lets you know this is the center. We can draw a straight line going up and down. And what I'd like to do now is repeat that function by right clicking going up to line and we'll just start tracing this. So we'll get to the top slanted line to the bottom here. Right click hit OK. Now we can select this line, Control C, Control V to paste it and we'll select the arrow pointing to the right and we'll just slide it. Let's right click hit OK. And let's use our line tool once again and we'll just continue with this half. Select it, Control C, Control V. And there you go, right there. Let's right click, hit OK. Now, instead of doing these singly, um, or doing these one by one, <laughs> we can go to Create, Mirror. We'll select all four of these you know, uh, diagonal lines. And for the mirror line, we'll choose this center line and hit OK. And quickly, you see we have these shapes. So what I would now want to do is Shift select all these profiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when we right click to press pull, um, we'll only have five shapes. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, because these two profiles merge together as one. And we're gonna pull these back by negative 1.8. And let's hit, let's ensure the operation's on cut and let's hit OK. Now we have this shape. And what I now want to do is create the little handle here for the frame. So let's select this surface and go to create sketch. And let's just use our two point rectangle from this top line. And we're going to go all the way down to the right around here. Now let's shift select this profile and this one at the same time so we can right click press pull and what I want to do is select this frame so we can um, copy it uh, copy the height but we want to extend a little bit beyond so we'll just pull this pass to something around here so around 3.7 should be fine and let's change the operation from cut to join now if we hit OK we'll see that we have that effect we're looking for so let's toggle off the canvas and see what we have. Uh, we have our door complete and our keypad, and we also added that detail. So this is a good place where we can actually wrap this video up. 